Hi, welcome to another episode of Hair Fair FC here on Vanilla FM. We are going to take a look at the end of 2026, 2027. Uh, the team's doing okay. We're, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. Everyone's doing okay. I'm actually bringing some youth players to this next match. I'm going to tell you how uh, we did so far. So, um, as you may or may not have noticed, we're actually going to play the FA Trophy Final as our nat uh, last match. It's really good, really great news that we got to the final. It also gives us a little bit of exposure and extra cash, which we need. I'll get onto that in a moment. The season's gone well. We've not had a loss since January. We had a little bit of a low spell in March with lots of draws and that actually set us back. The bad news is we weren't able to catch up with the teams in front in time for the playoffs. We missed out on the playoffs by two points. So that is the bad news from this episode. We've not made it to the playoffs. Uh, we've not been promoted. We aren't going to be promoted. We're going to be in this league again. And the bad news about that is that we are running out of cash and we actually are um, our budgets are being cut for next season so we're not going to be able to invest in new talent um yeah so we're going to find it really tough next season i think we're going to have to rely on loans non-contracts youth uh, we're not going to be able to invest in new talent we do have some players that will carry on until next season but um yeah some players are leaving so it's going to be a tough one cohesion is good we have pretty good all the way around uh, there's some issues with unhappiness with players that want to leave our iron is one of them but there are a few others uh, Owen Pollock actually one of our strikers has just left within the last few couple of days um, but it's okay we didn't really play him this season so that's fair enough yeah so we're gonna jump into the next match um, just to kind of show you as well that the youth is doing well very strong they finished fourth of their division it's also their first time playing in that division. Um, so finishing fourth for their first time in that division is pretty good. Got a pretty nice looking dressing room here because we are at Wembley. Wembley Stadium is not really full. I'm not sure if the supporters, if the white shirts are for us or for Bromley. But we have 24,000 people watching, which is great. So I decided to bring some youth play youth talent to this match, just to give them a little bit of exposure. Um, our squad isn't brilliant in, in any case, so bringing some youth is, isn't going to hurt us at all. Oh, and there we go. Stuart with a goal. It's a pretty weird one. But it counts. It looks like the supporters are our supporters. They seem to be celebrating when we scored. It just comes off the keeper. Oh no, they're not. They're not supporting us. They're not celebrating. They're furious. Okay, so those are Bromley supporters. I don't know where our supporters are, but probably not many in the stadium then. Yeah, so this season's been good, but it's going to be tough next year. Uh, we're not a professional club, so we're not going to be able to attract any players that want that sort of training and development. Uh, we're really lacking that offer. We don't have the money to be a professional club in any case. Um, the club isn't going to, you know, the board isn't going to accept that. So yeah, so unless the board brings some major investment in, I can't see us becoming a professional club anytime soon and we desperately need to do so in order to progress. So we're kind of a little bit stuck now. It's probably done as as well as we can do in this league without, you know, without making any major investments. Um, ba -ba -ba. We're going to get a lap sleep. Uh, actually, let me just check something first. if I do that and then 
to the BJ. Oh, let's get bring up see It's the same. Okay. Tommy Piper's coming off. There's a little bit of a bug with this feature. Um, whenever you seem to do subs from here, it doesn't always register. Um, right, so I'm gonna get this guy in. Oh, I seem to register then. Uh, like that, maybe. There we go. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, let's move on. Okay, last up. I lost track of time there for a moment. And we're gonna get someone in for the left. Let's hope this is a good highlight for us. There's three minutes to go. Brom is going to push. And FM usually tends to have a pretty annoying tendency of giving the opponent late goals. And I kind of sense it coming. I sense it coming. Stewart's done really well there to get the ball. Oh really bad shot at the end. He could have done a lot better than that. He's a he's a lot he's a better striker than that. And would you believe it? We actually won the FA trophy. That is amazing. Oh that I was not expecting that. Bromley finished third as well, so they were a better team than we are. And I've put youth players in this in this setup as well. Um so maybe I should look at some of those youth players for next season. And here we are, we're going to have some fireworks. And I'm just going to time a screenshot here. Get those fireworks for the patron. There we go, fireworks for the patron. Um, yeah, it's the first time we ever won anything, I think. Uh, there they are, going around with the cup. Waving hi to the fans, which are pretty much non-existent. Most of the fans are Bromley fans. We won. Fantastic. That is amazing. That is really good, actually. As a bonus. Bearing in mind we didn't get the promotion, getting a trophy is really good. So let's go through the end of season news items. Let's see what we get here. We get 63k from that. <laughs> got King third of the manager of the year. That's good. Okay, we're gonna have a slightly better budget than we see, so that helped. Winning the winning the the FA trophy helped because we were only gonna have 2k for our transfer budget, and we only were only gonna get 14 or 13k for our wage budget, and that's been improved, so that helped. Uh, we didn't get our. Um end of season summary 
not sure if we are going to, but in any case, I'm going to send Jobson back so we don't have to spend money on him. It's all about saving that money now. Oh, there we are. So, Owen, I would agree with that. He's been a solid goalkeeper for us. A plus from the board. The FA trof uh, Trophy. Oh, no, that's an FA Cup. So, best goal. FA Cup. Match, remember, f against Maidenstone. And the FA Trophy. One of the FA Trophies win. It's been our biggest win. We've got more money in the bank overall. Stuart, our striker, with the most sold shirts. Uh, both Jobson and Lawton left already. I just essentially sack Jobson just now. But I would largely agree with the lineup of the season. And here we are, player of the season, the goalkeeper. 19 clean sheets, he set a record for that. Young player of the season, um, Reggie Evans, the center, central defender. Signing the season, uh, the goalkeeper again. Goal of the season, Tom Lapsley, the defensive midfielder. 27 goals for Leighton Stewart. Most assists, 11 for Ross Lang. Most player of the match, 7 for Leighton Stewart. And then average rating, the goalkeeper. Uh, Adam O'Shea managed to get yellow, 13 yellow cards and one red card. Uh, youngest goal scorer, uh, someone from the youth team. And Colm Stringer is back and we paid 25k for him, so I hope that pays off next season. And that is it. I'm going to finish the episode there. Uh, a couple of people have been added to the best 11. No changes in our support makeup, but we do have a few more followers. Expectation for next year. Void relegation again, which is slightly bizarre. Bearing in mind we, we came 8th, but we've been coming above like 14th the whole time but it's okay da, da, da. and i'll deal with all of these meetings in my own time so thanks so much for watching until the end if you haven't already checked out the patreon go and check it out um one thing you can do is give a name to a new gen or oh, actually i'll give a name to the new gen i'll give uh, um rename a new gen in your honor if you become a patron go and check that out uh, there and you can also check other links in the description as well thanks so much for watching and supporting and um, take care i'll see you in the next one bye